Howdy folks, how's it going? I'm back again. Uh, I apologize, it's been nine months since my last video, but I'm doing really well, and my wife's doing well, and our family. Um, so a couple of people asked what happened to my son, uh, or maybe they didn't watch the other video, but uh, my son was killed uh, as a, uh, from a driver hitting him as he was crossing the street um, at a crosswalk, so it's, uh, that's what happened, I mean, it's just horrible. He was 17, almost 18 years old, and um, so we're still going through the process of going to trial and all that. Um, and hopefully that'll happen here. It's supposed to happen here in the month of December, so I could probably talk more about it after it's over, but not can't really say much right now for legal reasons. So uh, I just want to thank everybody for all your prayers and blessings that you sent out to me and my family. Uh, that just that just means a, a ton to us, and just thank you so much. And uh, but um, and I just I just want to give. Uh, my thoughts and prayers to all the people uh, that just went through uh, Hurricane Sandy. Um, my uh, father and his wife live on the East Coast. My um, other parts of my family from my mo mother's side lives there, um, South Carolina, North Carolina. Um, my sister's, um, she's near Boston. So they're not, re they really weren't affected, but I mean, I know they had many friends and family that were, so I, I hope everybody out there, your friends and family are, are doing well, and for those that were affected, I, I hope relief comes soon for them, and they can get back, you know, on with their life and daily living, so, uh, but, uh, let me light my pipe up here. Pipe, I don't know what meant to say light my pipe up here. Anyway, I'm um, smoking a Stanwell pipe made in Denmark. Um, pipe I picked up at a estate sale about a year ago. Beautiful pipe. Um, looks like kind of like a Bakelite type um, mouthpiece. Um, I know it's not Bakelite, it's um, it's one of the other type of items they build the stems from. And I just can't remember what those are right now. And there's a name on the pipe um, right below Stanwell. I can't see it because it's a it's been kind of smoothed over from from past use. But I'll try to write it in the show notes what what style it was. Smoking uh, tobacco I had around for a while. Um, I picked up at a store in Mesquite, Texas. I don't know if it's still around. It was an old tobacco store called Sir Elliot's. I think it was in one of the malls out there. And it's called Aristocrat. <clears throat> Excuse me, Aristocrat. And uh, one of the other neat tappers I've picked up at State Sale. It's some type of different colored woods and a Kind of a brass in. So, uh, really neat. Hopefully I can start trying to figure out how to put pictures in with my video so I can show better pictures of things from just this camera I have. It's not, it's a fixed lens camera so I can't zoom in or do any extra stuff like that. So, but, um, yeah, it's been nine months since I made a video, um, but one really good thing that my wife and I were blessed with is we have a new son, and uh, Lucas, his name is, and uh, he's about almost six months old, uh, here in about a week or so, it'll be six months, and uh, you might hear him in the background, I've got him over in the stroller, just behind the camera, I'll try to get a shot here of him in a minute. Um, but he, he's, he's a great little angel for us. We've been real happy with him. He's doing so well. He's real close to teething, so he's, he's always got something in his mouth. So. Um, but he, he's a great little boy. We're real blessed. Um, over the past few months, I 
here in Dallas, I'm able to hit like estate sales and garage sales on my off time and um, some kind of interest in it. I found, I like old pipe tins and things, and I found a, um, an old pipe tin at a, one of the cells I was at. Um, the tobacco was dry and obviously not good anymore. I don't know if it would be safe to even try to see about reviving it, because I don't even know how old it is. But it's the Balkan Sabrain smoking mixture. It was um, made by Sabraini Limited, London, England. And uh, I have no idea how old this thing is. This is 50 grams on the bottom. Um, open it up here. Kind of. See, I don't even know if it was ever smoked by the other person. And there's the inside. Little. So has the original little cover and then the tobacco it's just dry as dead grass Let's see what it smells like um, it smells pretty good actually kind of uh, I don't really know what the smell would be just nice tobacco smell But it was mostly buff for the tin. The tobacco was just a plus. And you just, uh, on this one, you just, you just push down on it. It doesn't even screw on like some of the newer ones. Pipe keeps going out here. It's real windy today. It's so windy, I can't even get my lighter to go on. There we go. Just want to thanks, thank everybody again. Tons of subscriptions since I've been uh, off air and um, trying to watch your guys' videos when I can. I mean, there's obviously hundreds to catch up on. And uh, I'm able to watch them usually in the evenings when I have some free time. And some really nice stuff out there you guys are doing. Well, it's election day, so hope you guys got out and voted. I was able to vote last week. It was, uh, Texas has early voting, so I know there's some states that don't offer that. I have a friend of Minnesota that he says he was envy of a uh, early voter, so. And the lines are really long here in Dallas, Texas, where I am, so I'm glad I got that over with. I don't want to have to deal with all that. So, good luck to our next president, whoever he is. And uh, I'll give you a shot here of my son real quick. And I'm going to sign off. And I've got a couple other videos I'm going to do. So those will be following here short, uh, shortly. Anyway, thanks, guys. And uh, we'll catch you later. Camera's a little hard to get off. Here we go. Say hi, Lucas. Hi. How you doing there? Say bye. We'll see you next time. Hey, guys. Just come uh, do a little close-up of some of the items I had today. Uh, this is the pipe tapper. Little brass in there. I don't think there's any um, markings on it as far as a maker. But uh, really nice. Pick this up and up state sell a while back probably just for five or six dollars it was quite inexpensive and there's my pipe today I'm smoking that is the Stanwell from Denmark and I don't want that to fall through so I'll just lay that there and this is that uh, can of tobacco I picked up Got a cell, an old uh, tin there. It's in the back, 50 grams. There's the, I guess what are older tobacco some of us haven't seen what it looked like. There's the, so, 
Ooh, I can smell it. Oh, tore that. I was going to read it to you guys. Let's see. Created in London nearly a century ago to provide the best in smoking pleasure for connoisseurs the world over. Now and then only the choice of rare tobacco skillfully blended by I can't even see that really well. Something craftsmen in traditional style are used to bring their unique smoking pleasure to in every winding circle of devotees the world over. So Brandy Limited London, England. Anyway, neat old antique uh, tin there. If it is antique, I mean, it's just, I don't know how old this is. Hey guys, thanks again, and uh, here's a pipe for you. Have a good one.